Welcome back friends. This is the part 9 of the Bionic tutorial series. In this part, we will create our first and I mean one and only HTTP interceptor which will help us inject the consumer key and consumer secret in the uh, request. Okay. So we want that to be injected automatically for every request that is being sent to our backend API. And in case if you want to skip the interceptor, we will see how we can go about it. Okay. So I have my editor running. I'm going to close all these tabs here. So inside my services folder, I'm going to create a new interceptor. It's a, it's a service only, but I have the schematics here. So I'll use this to create the interceptor. I'll name it backend interceptor skip test it's true I don't want any, any test files so give it a few seconds okay so there we go so this is my backend interceptor created for me and as you can see this is a service that is injectable and it is not provided in root like our other service it implements from the HTTP interceptor interface okay and this is the method that we need to implement so the very first thing I'll do on top here is I'll export to con one is skip interceptor you can give it any value you want okay and the name can also be anything of your choice right object again it will be have x right object okay <coughs> with that being said let's move here to our in intercept method here inside this I'll put a comment here this will skip the interception interception if skip interceptor header is present okay so we'll use the if clause here request dot headers dot has skip interceptor if it has it in the headers what we'll do we'll store it in a variable the current headers request.headers and we'll delete the skip interceptor header and after deleting whatever header we have left we will store it in the this const and we'll return next.handle request current request will clone it uh, we'll clone it and we'll pass the headers here okay S similarly this will also skip the interception if right object header is present the code is similar copy it paste it here can use the single if clause or a switch case here that's all right so I am going to use individual if statements okay so that you uh, the concept gets clear to you comes clear and you will be able to implement anything you want okay so if that has the header I want to delete it but also I want to update a request I want to use the writable keys here because my normal keys have only read access okay so what I'll do I'll request dot clone and you, you cannot uh, simply modify the request okay it's a read only thing you have to clone it and then modify it and send the modified request so first thing I'll use set params 
the params I'll use consumer underscore key to environment dot write table keys dot consumer key and you see that's the reason we uh, made those constants similarly consumer secret we are not exposing anything to the I mean in the code okay which can be easily readable next thing after setting params is we want to set the headers that's present here in our const variable next uh, we won't we won't send the uh, clone here we will simply send the updated request okay so this will have both the params as well as the header and if if no if both the headers are not present process normally that will be modified request equals to request dot clone and params set params consumer underscore key will be environment dot read only keys dot consumer key and consumer underscore secret is environment dot read only keys dot secret okay so we have a modified request there and we return next dot handle modified request so so whenever you do a return statement this intercept function uh, is over so it will not go to the next statement here all right so save the changes make sure your terminal is running okay uh, but uh, since we have not provided it yet we need to first provide it in the app module that's our root module app module dot ts okay inside this providers array after this statement we'll use provide HTTP interceptors it's a special uh, class you can say that is derived from and uh, that is present in angular common HTTP put it here give it a class use class that is our backend interceptor and there's a attribute for multi set it to true okay save the changes if you go back to your app now you will see okay it's failing again i believe my ip got changed uh, i just rebooted my machine so let me check uh it's still 11 so i'm gonna ping shop cloud ns.cl okay i believe my apache is not running check that uh, and I think I'll write Let's start it failing uh, hang on a second just give me a quick minute all right so I was able to start my Apache server here I minimize this go back to my browser hit refresh and you'll see I'll get a response now from my backend API Although I have not used any manual uh, coding here to inject the consumer key and consumer secret, but if you see here, first of all, I got the products back, and if I go to the request, we'll see in my query strings both of these were injected automatically by my injector, by my interceptor. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is the beauty of using a backend interceptor. You don't have to, uh, I mean, pass in these params manually each time. Okay, because we need we would need it each time we query our backend API for read and write. And whenever you want to, uh, what do you call, uh, set the headers, you can simply set the headers and send it in the in the request. We will see that how we can set the I mean use these uh, constants to uh, bypass the interceptor in the upcoming lessons okay and 
so right now we are only only seeing uh, 10 items as you can see it's not loading more in the next lecture we will first create the menu here the menu that we discussed a couple of lessons back we'll first create that and then we'll see how we can create a infinite loader here so that it, it will load the spin, the uh, next set of products each time you scroll till it till the list of product ends and it'll also display a toast notification here okay and, and i just made a small change here instead of 112 pixels i set it to 48 or 58 pixels to move it on the top here All right so with that uh, i'm going to end this video and i'll see you in the next video so till then please don't forget to subscribe like and share my channel with your friends and please leave a comments in the comment section below take care and have a wonderful day bye bye